the match day 14 home loss to Inyimba was a tough one for Kano Pillars to take. The visit of bottom side Ikorodu United was therefore seen by saying Mesugida Faithfuls as a way to immediately ease the pain. Ikorodu United flew to Kano with their tails marginally up, having stopped an 11 game winless run on March day 14. Here are highlights from the sunny Abacha Stadium. Uh, football is something that goes around and around. Sometimes you don't get, um, you seem not to get noticed. <laughs> but with time it all changes and now it's Kano Pillars coming forward. That diminutive midfield maestro coming forward again and that's a great run and it sends the ball across. That should be goal number one. It is goal number one. Great work there from Rabi Uche, finished off by Emmanuel Edmond. Oh, what a move that was. I said it, that diminutive man, simply fantastic. He got the pass, ran away, and of course, the stadium just erupted. First goal of the game, but by no means likely to be the last. <laughs> uh, Emmanuel Edmond, just a couple of weeks ago, he was also the star performer. He just knows what to do inside the 18 yard box he's a killer in the box Emmanuel Edmond you can see here he simply made sure and let me be the right place at the right time superb team move when the ball was played forward it was sweet back just in the penalty spot fast one defender into the far corner absolutely nothing you can do you can see here just one touch two touches into the far corner one nil kind of pillars and that's what Edmond does hat trick Again, shooting stars a couple of weeks ago, he's opened his scoring today. How many can he get? Chile Azul. the United come again. Quick feet. Pass coming through. The flag stays down and the pass is rolled across. A good one and the header. And that is the equalizer. Would you believe it? Not? They made it look so easy, it's almost unbelievable, but that's the measure of the cross, exquisite cross there coming from Cardinal Balogu of the Premier United, and it was magnificently finished. One one here. Well, I, I think you have to say that Cardinal Pillars went to sleep there. Uh, they, they, they just let them come, and uh, for some reason, someone wasn't doing his job, and I think that's Promise James. You can see there's absolutely no challenge. He simply ran onto the ball. He's not the tallest of players. He didn't even have to lift. He simply ran and headed the ball into the back of the net. That's an absolute, absolute shambolic defending from the home side. 1-1 one, one it is, and they have to start afresh. Say May Sugida. Right here, it's still 1-1 one, one between Kanu Pillars and uh, Ikredu United. A good pass coming forward. A leap, a miss. Ikredu United still in possession. It's Oluwole Balogu. And a shot and a good one all around the post. That's how close and it's wasted in the end by Balogu. But that's how close Ikredu United came to doing almost the impossible. That one cannoning off the crossbar. Well, that's how close it came. Well, again, like a nice kind of defending, you have to say, from Kano Pillars. Look how much space uh, they, they have there. And, uh, of course, their bench, totally, totally happy with what they are seeing. Kabiru Balogu swiping the final effort over, but that crossbar was struck by Moses Ebiye. He was on the score sheet against Hatland and just could have made a name for himself there. Opportunity now coming forward and the ball just off the post. What a chance that was for Ikorodu United versus Abia. Oh, how lucky Kano Pillars have been here. An opportunity the flag goes of that time, nothing they can do, but that's how close it was the far post that saved Kano Pillars from a huge, huge embarrassment. The second time that they've left off the line here. Again, no one picked up the run of a beer. I, I think uh, the pillars are really missing their suspended central defense pair. Jonathan Ziki and Jamia Alibi, you can see he walked in the unchallenged, beat David Obiazov, but could not beat the far post. In 
the blink of an eye, it's just uh, 75 minutes gone. Just the 15 left. And with it passing minutes, United look like uh, able to get something. Able to get something, and what a goal that was. It had to come from only one man on that pitch. Nobody else could have, could have executed it quite as clinically as that. Captain of the side, Supremo. That is one man that they rely on to deliver the goods when the chiefs are down. Radio Ali, what a rocket that was. He does send it in a screamer there. And of course, Stadium stood up as well to salute that. Well, what else can you say? Simply pick that up. He knew it had to be now, and he did it. I mean, that, I was talking about uh, United looking like they could get something, but he's ensuring. Well, that's also a full length dive from Patu and Shane, but you don't get to catch those. You can see adulation in the stands for Rabiu Ali. Captain Fantastic, year in, year out, he does things like this. And uh, you can only respect that. That was a super strike. Die had supporters, they're not going anywhere until the final whistle. Uh, they're just waiting. The flag swinging in the breeze, gentle evening breeze of uh, the city of Kano. He's just waiting for the final whistle to start celebrating. A spirited performance from the underdogs ended in defeat, but not without stretching the Goliaths of Kano.